It's looking pretty good. We're gonna roll them out. Justin, stay right there. Yep. We just got over there. So Justin, go ahead and roll it out. Seth. Joe Cox. Kurt Falls graph. Let Joe get up there. Roll them out. Uh, Dave, he's already out. Ricky. Ricky's not running, so Dwayne and Joe Bach. All right, go ahead and catch up, guys. Come on, Dwayne and Joe, catch up. Hold up, guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Keep them running. Keep them running. These last two get around here. Keep them running. Keep them running. Keep them running. And... All right, we're off and going. That went fairly well. About as good as a rolling start can ever go. Work together out there, guys. Long race, 15 minute race. Top two get to go to the big show. And now Justin and Seth trying to break away. Kurt and Dave giving chase down the straightaway. Joe got a little bit tangled up there on the first lap. He's going to be charging hard to catch back up. our leaders right now Justin out front Seth in the two spot he's got a rear wing full of Kurt Falls grab Dave right behind them two we got a good battle our top four all within about four seconds of each other so check the gaps as they come by Joe Bach coming up on a tile. Leader's working through. Leader's going to be working on the backside of Joe Bach. We got two minutes in. 13 minutes left to go. Our leader's down the front section. Justin, Seth, Kurt. One, two, three. Right in the row through the three fingers. Dave's going to be 3.8 back. They're working by the lap car. Joe Bach. So those are your leaders, Joe. Excellent job. Justin stretched out to a 1.9 second lead. Kurt now 2.4 back on the Justin, or Seth, so we got three in, 12 to go. Dave Nichols still right there in the four spot. Joe Cox closing up on him, guys, after a rough first lap. Nice man working by Delane. Delane goes for a tumble. He's gonna let all of our leaders go by. We'll find our leader, Justin, over the north double. We roll and roll and down the front section. Oh, our second place driver flips it over. Joe's right there to flip it back. The Kirk's gonna take over the two spot. Now Seth gives chase. Dave's still right there in the hot body. Dick goes wheel dots. Get me some of that. Joe Cox, another about four seconds behind Dave. He's four. We're past the four minute mark. Our leader across the loop. Oh, Kirk gets it wrong in the front stretch. Here comes Seth. 
sideways, side by side, good burn. Kurt's gonna hold the spot, Seth looks to the inside. That's gonna let Dave close right up on him, so two, three, four. Oh, Dave catches the tile, shoots it back down the straightaway. That's gonna let Justin stretch out to a big advantage. Justin across the line. Second just now hitting the front section. He's got a 5.8 second lead over second. Still got a good battle for second and third as they head through the three fingers between Kurt and the Iceman. Kurt, he is off the track, so that's going to move up Seth back up to the two spot. I didn't see what happened to Kurt there. We got six in, six in, nine to go. Our leader across the loop, Justin. We'll look for our second place car. That's going to be Seth. And third place across the line. So Seth's got 5.7 seconds over Dave for second and third. Our leader Justin across the line as we got. 640 in, 640 in, so we're getting pretty close to halfway. Kurt back on track after a flame out apparently. Possibly maybe ran out of fuel. We got seven minutes in, eight minutes to go, so we're coming up on halfway. Dad. All right, we got our third place driver in for fuel. When am I right coming now, in? We're seven and a half in, seven and a half to go. Here I come. Pit lane's hey. gonna be hot. Our leader is in, third place is in. Joe Cox is down and away, the lane's back out. Oh, Iceman's off track. Help us out, help us out. Oh my. That could change things. Dave goes by as we got eight in, seven to go. Dave is now going to be up into the two spot. Iceman back to third after a bad pit stop. Still a long way to go in this one. We got 6.45 to go. Five in, 6.15 to go. Our leader across the loop, 29.9, or 29.8 that time by. We'll look for our second place car. He's up on the back left table. And across the left end onto the front section. Oh, Iceman hung up on a tile. That's going to let Dave stretch out his advantage.
Second place across the line, David's a 31-2. Justin's last lap, 31-3. Justin's got a 15 second lead. So basically, Justin with a half a lap lead. Seth's now gonna be 9.8 back off of Dave. So he's gonna have to really, oh, Seth tumbles it again through the three fingers. He's gonna have to really bear down and run some clean laps. We've got five minutes left to go. We got 10 in, five to go. Justin still continues to lead. Dave comes across. 32-6. And at this pace, there's going to be a bunch of hot bodies from the A main. If it stays the way it is, we're going to have four D8 12s. As I say that, our leader Trent rolls into the big Talladega berm. Not really Talladega, it's more like Martinsville. <laughs> We got 4:30 left on the clock. Right now, probably our clo oh Dave Nichols flips it over, catches the lip, and here comes the Ice Man. That's gonna close up the gap for our battle for the last and final transfer into the A main. Jeff's gotta work on staying smooth and cool to try and run down Dave. Is our Delaney? That is our second place car. We got second and third on you. There we go. The leader across the loop, 28-3. That was his fast lap of the race coming on lap 23, 11 and a half minutes into the race. Right now, the battle to watch, second and third over the big pyramid, through the tabletop corner, across the north double and down the front section. We got Dave Nichols and Seth the Iceman Freeze. Can he keep his cool? He looks to the inside, oh, gets stuck in the tile. So that's gonna give Dave a pretty good gap. Seth stuck it in there, but Dave slammed the door. We got three minutes left to go. We'll see what the gap is this time. Seth's been a little bit quicker than Dave, but he's gonna have quite a bit of track to make up. the loop we got just about two minutes left to go he's put third place a lap down so he's almost left the whole field with two minutes to go right now Seth's gonna be 10 seconds off of Dave for that final transfer spot god damn it We got a minute 35 to go, so we're looking at a minute and a half. Minute and a half to go on this one. It'll be about four more laps for your leader. He's projected at a 31 lap pace. He's on lap 27 right now. 120 left. Dave, he's got his Justin. They go side by side over the jump. Those guys want to be careful. They got plenty of room. The bump is well in hand. I take that back. Hmm. 
Seth is closed down to 3.4 seconds. There's 20 seconds left to go on the clock. These guys are probably going to get around for one more lap. Justin, that is second place in front of you. Let some guys go. You got a lap on the field. And time is about to expire. Second and third. The leaders in between you two. Dave, getting up a little bit on the tile. Justin's laying back. Giving him some room. See if he can get around the last couple jumps here. Iceman rolls it on the tabletop corner, and that's going to be it. So Justin takes the win. Dave's going to take the second spot. Iceman comes home in a hard-fought third. 5.1 five back as the rest of them finish up here. Everybody that's left running. All right, that looks like a wrap on the B main. Justin Christensen taking the win. Dave Nichols also going to join him starting at the back of the A main.